Oluji, a young, talented musician, gets pregnant in a bid to get rid of it. Her father insists she keeps it after she wanted to give it up for adoption. She then abandons the child with her father, vanishes into thin air, and lives her life as though they do not exist. Her father goes through thick and thin just to be able to provide for Oluchi's daughter, whom he made to believe he was the biological father. The child grew up very talented, very smart, very curious, very beautiful, believing that her grandfather is actually her dad. And her mom, she always saw as her big sister. That is the story of Obara M. Oluchi character played by Nancy Isime is a young, beautiful, talented musician that wants to achieve her dreams by Hoku Kokane. She abandons her young, broke boyfriend after she discovers that she's pregnant for him. She pins the pregnancy on a very rich fraudster only to realize when she's way gone into the pregnancy that this young man that is rich, giving her all that she wanted and taking her out of poverty is actually a fraud. This man is arrested by EFCC. Everything he owned is confiscated by the government and Oluchi is back to square zero. She goes to her father's house, stays with him until she gives birth. Eventually, she is so fed up of having to allow a young girl, a young child, grow up in poverty. She decides to give the child up for adoption. Her father, character played by Osofia, is so bent on Oluche keeping the baby. He flocks her till she tells him what she did with the baby, follows her to the orphanage home, to retrieve the baby and decides to take care of the baby single-handedly. Oluchi, out of frustration and anger, abandons her daughter with her father, who names the child Ihunaya. Ihunaya grows up into a beautiful, talented, young, bright, brilliant girl that will be the joy of every parent. She grew up believing that her grandfather, who she calls Papa, is actually her father. And thereby, her sister, Oluchi, who is actually her mother, her big sister. Sophia makes so many sacrifices just to be able to take care of Ihunaya, sacrifices his food. There are days where he goes without food himself, just so Ihunaya can have food to eat. There was a point where he had to give his money for drugs for his blood pressure to be able to sponsor Ihonaya's school for an examination um, to get her scholarship to the next level. After Sophia pays such an amount for Ihonaya's exam, he's left worrying and thinking where the next money is coming from just so he's going to take care of his health he goes to bed in his armchair only to realize the next morning he won't be waking up Ihunaya, now thinking she is an orphan only left with her big sister has no other choice than to go live with her big sister oluchi only to realize after a very long time that oluchi is actually her mother the whole story spans around how Oluchi is able to come out of her reckless life and become a very responsible mother. You need to watch the rest of the film at this point. On the whole, I'm going to rate Obara M an 8 out of 10. It's a very beautiful film. A film that is very relatable. A lot of young stars on the streets are doing so much sacrificing so much just to be able to achieve their dreams it tells the story of how single mothers are pushed or the lengths they would go just to be able to have a life for themselves now the most striking character for me was darcy me 
the young girl that played the character of Ihunaya. This girl is a pure talent. This is a 10-year-old girl that I just feel has been discovered and has been underestimated for the longest in the industry. This is a girl we need to be seeing more often. She's a pure talent. She ate the character. She ate the role. She put her whole in the role. What I enjoy while acting is having to come and meet new people. Yunaya is a young, super smart child. She fits me because that's my personality. The way she speaks, she was portrayed in Obara M as a brilliant, talented, and smart young girl. And she played the role as though she actually is the person in real life. Her charisma, the way she speaks, the way she carried herself, everything about Darisime in the movie is a clear representation of a pure talent and the world is not ready for the talent darisimi that is coming regardless there was something i observed that was a bit off for me i at a point where olushi went back home and she heard her father's voice talking to her and then she started singing and everything in the song well, she was saying that she surrenders and all that. I was expecting that afterwards, the whole storyline would tow towards um, Oluchi finding God, being a lot closer to God. But it was it was still the same. She went back, even though she went to speak to Oluchi, uh, she went to speak to Ehunaya, promised to do right by her instead, and went to tell Ihunaya's real dad that he has a daughter and all. I was just hoping that one way or the other, Oluchi was going to do something, if not at all, come up with a gospel song, go to church or do something. But we didn't see anything of that. And I kept asking myself, so what happened was the I surrender and all just for nothing because she went back to her life doing the very thing she was doing, singing the same song and all. And I wondered what went wrong. I just feel there wasn't so much elaboration on that scene, that particular. There wasn't a lot of development on that. Again, we didn't hear so much about Papa's wife, Oluchi's mom. There were a lot of times that I felt there was a point where we needed to know what happened to her that was going to give us a background to why he was so bent on keeping uh Ihonaya. because for every time the only time we heard her name mentioned was when Ihonaya mentioned to oluchi that her mom had passed when she, even before she was born and i was asking that would have been a better opportunity for Olichi to develop and elaborate on who her mom was, but there was no development on her character. Regardless, Obara M is a good film. Obara M is showing on Netflix. You just don't want to miss it for anything. Go watch Obara M. Share with me what your observations are, what your ratings are, and let's get interactive. The name still remains Mami. I'm not going to catch me in my next video. See ya.